A boy walked up to me in the hall and asked, Are you the poet? I said, One of the many. He thrust a scrap of paper at me and said, Write me a poem, and stalked off. I thought about this, and since it was Valentine's Day, I wrote him, Valentine for Ernest Mann. You can't order a poem like you order a taco. Walk up to the counter, say, I'll take two, and expect it to be handed back to you on a shiny plate. Still, I like your spirit. Anyone who says, here's my address, write me a poem, deserves something in reply. So I'll tell a secret instead. Poems hide. In the bottoms of our shoes, they are sleeping. They are the shadows drifting across our ceilings the moment before we wake up. What we have to do is live in a way that lets us find them. Once I knew a man who gave his wife two skunks for a valentine. He couldn't understand why she was crying. I thought they had such beautiful eyes. And he was serious. He was a serious man who lived in a serious way. Nothing was ugly just because the world said so. He really liked those skunks. So he reinvented them as valentines, and they became beautiful, at least to him. And the poems that had been hiding in the eyes of skunks for centuries crawled out and curled up at his feet. Maybe if we reinvent whatever our lives give us, we find poems. Check your garage, the odd sock in your drawer, the person you almost like, but not quite. And let me know 